G'day! In today's video, I've got a leader, a PC, also known as a Breeze. The model number is SC401, and I've been having dramas trying to get it to boot off a USB flash drive. Got Windows 10, 22H2, and the drama that I've got with it is I cannot get into recovery by telling it to hold Shift and restart the computer. When I'm within Windows, so it's got a password, I don't know the password, I'd like to wipe the system. What do I have to do from here? So what I've found is I can get into the BIOS of it, ignore the very grotty screen, I am going to clean that soon. But if I hit the power button, we get the power light over here, and I start mashing F2, bingo. And then from here, I'm going to plug in the USB. Then I'm going to go over using the arrow keys, I'm going to go over to boot, and I want to set the Windows one as basically the last one. I want USB key first. USB key should be the USB flash drive. Or also put hard drive. I can change them by basically going over the top of it, hitting enter, and putting what I want number one. So I can shuffle around that way. When I've got it set to that, I should be able to go save changes and exit. I don't recommend modifying any of these kind of advanced settings, just leave them all stock, don't bother trying to tweak it, you'll probably screw it up, and then it won't boot, as it's a very janky machine. Do have 4 gig of RAM on this one, and 128 gig of storage. So if I go save changes, exit, it should restart, our flash drive should start blinking, and I should start booting. And it's going to make a liar out of it. So I'm going to tweak those settings a couple more times to get it to finally boot off it. This should be blinking a blue LED. Kind of like that. Anyway, if you are doing a fresh reinstall like I'm going to do, you will have to have a bit of a dig around online to try and find drivers to make this system function. As they probably will require very janky drivers to be able to do that. Anyway, I'm going to boot this back up once it's off and adjust that setting and reinstall from here. Bye.